look at the grand scheme of the human condition. Whenever a species is faced with a global problem or an existential crisis, we've always seemed to overcome and endure our problem. Always find a solution. How? Well, we invent our way of our problems. We innovate. We as a human species not only adapt to our surroundings, but we begin to create, to transform, to manipulate and modify. Let's take a look at the past. We have unlocked the secrets of the atomic world. We have unraveled the molecule of life, DNA. We have created a form of artificial intelligence, computer. And on top of that, we're going at a rapidly exponential rate. So what will become of us in the near future? As Tekker philosopher and wonder junkie Jason Silva says, 50 years from now, we could be Martians. One billion years from now, we could be Andromedans, living off new stars. 10 billion years from now, we could be the creative force of our universe. We are making the historic transition from the age of scientific discovery to the age of scientific mastery. So what are these scientific inventions leading us towards this mastery? Well, to start off with, let's take a look at inventions that will have a radical impact on human evolution. 3D printing. 3D printing is basically a process of making three-dimensional solid objects of virtually any shape from a digital model. It's building up a three-dimensional solid object from plastic, ceramics, or even living cells. There's no limitations to the matter of phenomenal brains being turned up in shape. Keeping that in mind, imagine the transformation we have taken from two digital image to three-dimensional solid object. Also, there's no distance limit. So let's say when astronauts go to Mars, they wouldn't need to take things from here. They could just take the 3D printed software and print whatever they need to use there. So let's face the fact that the wall between the virtual world and the physical world has been torn down, and 3D printing is the sheer proof of it. Moving on to another technological feat, mind-controlled cybernetic limbs. So let's take an example of a man who's replaced their missing limbs with an artificial limb. We now have the technology to help these individuals move their artificial limbs simply by thinking. We can translate brain signals into a computer-controlled algorithm, which then manipulates the limbs. So they can move several joints and motions simultaneously whilst receiving direct neural feedback from their actions. Thus, people who have tragically lost their limbs will be able to perform day-to-day -day activities and live a normal life again. Well, if you think that that sounds like science fiction, listen to this. Microsoft Surface. The possibilities seem endless when the line between the virtual world and the physical becomes increasingly thin. Many science fiction film writers have depicted powerful computers that are no more than large touchscreen displays. In Star Trek, it was entire wall panels and tabletops were controlling everything on a spaceship. Today, Microsoft Surface is bringing these sci-fi wonders into reality. So colleagues who gather around the table could take pictures with their cameras and place the cameras on the table, and the photos will be transmitted automatically. In the near future, you could pay at a restaurant by placing your credit card on the table. Simplifies the whole payment process, doesn't it? Well, here's something that simplifies connecting to the internet. We've all heard of Wi-Fi, but how many of us have heard of Li-Fi? Regular Wi-Fi uses radio waves to transmit information, but with Li-Fi, we can use regular visible light to transmit information. We now have the ability to access the internet through every street lamp and light bulb in the city. Imagine the impact this would have on how we store and exchange data. Space for developed countries. But what about less developed countries who don't have access to this technology? Well, we have had water purifiers for a long time now, but they're expensive and need a relatively clean water source. However, today, we have technology that will bring water-borne diseases, a thing of the past, Consider slingshot. It is a water purifier the size of a small fridge with an intake hose, an outflow hose, and a power cord. Stick the intake hose into anything wet, like sleep laden water, sea water, even raw sewage, and the outflow is 100% pure water. Now, think of what a radical impact this will have in countries who don't have access to clean water. And finally, Google Glass. We've all heard of the wearable smart device that represent the next stage of mobile computing and the smartphone. You literally access the virtual world and the real world simultaneously. Well, developers at Samsung are trying to one-up Google Glass by creating internet contact lenses. 
capable of displaying the same type of information without the glasses. So imagine looking and interacting with a person while browsing through their Facebook profile, or accessing their Twitter feed while talking to them. Instant contact lenses, Google Glass, nanobot, hologram, quantum computing. What next? We truly are an amazing species, and we're living in an age of transcendental and radical inventions, where the word boundary has no effect upon us. And the amazing thing is that the technologies that are preceding these inventions are already surfacing before they're released to the market. We are already thinking about the next step forward. An even more astounding realization is that all these revolutionary devices are a product of the human mind and the scientific method. Without science, none of this would exist. These chairs, the screens, the carpets, nothing. David Zoid said, that's what we do. We bring our imaginings into existence. Take a look around us. Consider the city of Dubai. It is no longer shaped by mere geology. It is shaped by the human mind. And let's not underestimate the power of ideas. Ideas are like organisms. They're infectious. They leak from brain to brain. Even though they're not made of nucleic acids, they've trumped the limitations of biology and the power of mind by radically metamorphosing our world. To say that ideas transform reality or change the world is not a metaphor. Ideas transform reality. Full stop. That's a factual statement. Ray Kurzweil said, our ability to create virtual models of reality in our head, combined with opposable thumbs, has ushered a new tremendous force to call technology. And it will continue to pick up pace until the entire universe is at our fingertips. And then, even, even the, the universe, universe will not be enough.